Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's talk about optimizing GIFs. Yes, I said GIFs. And we'll use Premiere Pro to make them, but we use Giphy, or is it Jiffy, to optimize them. All right, before we start the whole GIF versus GIF, I'm old enough to have created GIFs in the 90s, okay? So I've been through the whole what is it, why is it, I'm not going to answer any of those questions. Let's talk about making them. So Adobe added uh, animated GIF support in Premiere Pro a while ago. It's not that great in optimizing. It, it exports out exactly what you want, which are giant video files as GIFs. But the problem is the GIF format is incredibly inefficient and needs tons of optimization. There are only 256 possible colors in a GIF. So you imagine millions of colors posterized down and it doesn't do a good job. I needed some um, animated GIFs on my website on videoreveal.com and I found the best way to do them was to export out of Premiere Pro but use Giphy to uh, optimize them. So I'll show you what I've created and then we'll, we'll actually make one. Now Giphy does have some best practices here that really do make sense. Um, they say their uploads are limited to 15 seconds. They re recommend no more than six. Uh, it's limited to 100 megabytes. Resolution is limited to 720, 720p, but should be 480, which I think is true because you're not making a movie here. You're just making an animated image. So there are real restrictions here. The second you start creating massive animated GIFs and you're trying to play them on desktop, desktop or on a mobile device, they'll choke. So we'll follow those uh, choices. All right, let's go to Premiere Pro. I've got something here. What is it? About uh, eight seconds long. Six, six seconds, 23 frames uh, long. So I'm gonna export this out. This timeline is HD. And I'll export this out. And by default, Premiere Pro will turn on match source. And in doing so, it turns on all of these. So it matches the source. Turn this off leave this button connected so that the aspect ratio is locked. And we wanna find one quarter of this number. You can actually do the math in this little dialog box, in the little text box. So 1920 slash is divide, divide by four. And if you hit enter, give it a second eh, 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 and it'll figure it out. So it's 480. That means that my, my HD size is now a quarter of the size and it took the height and a quarter of that is 270 pixels. We're not done yet. It's too many frames. Let's go to here and turn the frame rate down. Right now it's 2997. Uh, 15 I find is pretty good. And the rest of these you can leave the way they are. You can turn off audio because GIFs don't uh, support audio. So now I'm going to choose where to export this out. So I'm going to choose right here and I'll call this motion. And it's an MP4 file, which is the H.264 um, and export that out. I don't really think it's going to make a difference if you make this QuickTime 4444 uh, because the, the final GIF is going to, going to completely uh, compress it. Here's my file. There it is. It's nice and small. It's quick and short. There we go. So we go to Giphy and you can create your free account. I'm going to click on upload and you can browse the files. You can drag and drop so I'll do just that. I'll drag and drop this file here. 
There it is. You can add another URL. Again, I'm only using this to create one that I can uh, download on my system and then use wherever I want, whether it's an email campaign or like I said, on my, the store. Okay, so that's successful. Let's click upload. If this doesn't work, it means that there's something wrong with what you're uploading. The format might be wrong. H.264, some QuickTime uh, formats are supported. Okay, so there it is. It's done and it looks amazing. I mean, that's a really great GIF. So at this point, you can copy the link, send this, embed it. But what I'm gonna do is just right click and save the image. I'll leave the default name. There it is. Let's go back over. So there's, there's the GIF. You can see it's stuttering. You can see that the frames per second is a lot less, but this is going to play much better on a website. And let me just show you on videoreveal.com where I wanted animated GIFs to show things like the split screens. You see, they look really, really good. They're smooth. Uh, the playback is wonderful. And the quality, the amount of colors is reduced to, to what a GIF needs, which is 256, but they look great. Giphy or Jiffy.com does a really good job of that compression. It's a free service and you can use it for a lot more than what I'm using it for. The, it, you know, it, it's kind of like a Reddit image thing where there's tons of images that you can uh, look at, but I'm just using it as a conversion um, uh, process. Now I tried so hard to get uh, uh, communication from them, whether uh, transparency was supported and I could not get uh, their tech support to even understand what freaking transparency is, even though you'll see other uh, versions of, of, of GIFs on there that are, are transparent. I've got a whole tutorial that I'll link to in the end card uh, about that, uh, how to make a transparency in, in a video. But uh, I did try Cineform, uh, QuickTime Cineform, it failed on the way up. I tried WebM, they both failed uh, on the way up. So maybe you'll have more luck with transparency, but there you go. If you need to export out and, and get a good quality GIF or GIF, uh, then use a combination of Premiere Pro and Giphy or Jiffy.com. Just remember, make the frame size smaller, make the, or, uh, yeah, the frame size smaller, the frame rate uh, less, and uh, you're gonna get a much better result. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. It really does mean a lot to us. We're getting really close to that magic 100,000 number. Ooh, can't wait. Maybe you'll be the person that sends us over the edge. You want to support us more, you can do that on videoreveal.com. Uh, you can donate once or monthly. Any amount is uh, appreciated. We love all of our wonderful donors who have donated over the years. Some of you have been giving us tons of support. We really appreciate that. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to keep a lookout around there and find out the best solutions, which sometimes is a combination of Adobe technology and something else. <laughs>